Yes, sir. If you permit me to make a few acknowledgements of our invited guests here today, first and foremost, I'd like to welcome the Attorney General Rewarios Preferatos uh, of the Hellenic Army who is here today with us. The Consul General of Greece who is here today and also celebrating his name back from you by George Tukas. Uh, the very Reverend Father Sonus OAM, uh, Mr. Alex Alexander, President of the West Adelaide Hellas Soccer Club, Chairman of the Hellenic Foundation, Mr. Greg Crafton, Mr. Phil Maris AM, Mr. Michael Tunikas, Mr. Harry Pat Mr. Michael Marcus, Sula Davis, Andrew Andrews, Peter Caritasis, and Connie Costi for their work in bringing the Hellenic Guard to our day. I also want to thank Seven of Theatre, and in particular Robbie Robinson, Bob Lop, and Novatech, who've kindly done so much for the Greek community here with Devon and making this beautiful lady available for us today. I'd like to acknowledge our host, Peter Malagastas, leader of the Australian Army in South Australia. Thank you the community for organising this event this evening. Um, it's very important to make these young men available to the public and without your assistance that wouldn't have been possible. Um, I want to acknowledge also Steve Georgianis. Uh, our Mayor is here, Michael Coxon. Michael, thank you very much for your attendance. Now, I'm going to acknowledge a large number of members of the parliament who are here tonight as well, which I think shows a level of commitment to the Greek community. I want to acknowledge uh, Andrea Michaels, Irene Numanikos, Connie Bernardis, Michael Brown, Matt Cook, Katrina Hilliard, James Vincent, Dale Workley, Russell Workley, Emily Burke, Tul Mo, Nadia Clancy, Emily Gore, Mario Smith, uh, and I'm sure there's someone I've missed, uh, but I think that's Everyone, thank you very much. If I've missed you, I would acknowledge you again. First, we have Councillor from the City of Charles Sturt, Mr. Paul Alexander. Sorry, Paul, I just saw you. Just saw you then. Now, later on today, what Peter's office has arranged is for uh, all of you to be able to get a photograph of the member of the Hellenic Guard. Now, what we'll do is it'll be professionally taken by professional photographers. There'll be a form like this. Out, but we will send you a copy of the photograph so you can have a keepsake mm. of the moment of the photograph as if you're in Cinema Square or right here at the Theatre. Yeah. 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 It gives me great pleasure now, ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask you to stay silent and be seated for the entrance on behalf of the President of the Hellenic Republic, the Hellenic Presidential Guard. <clears throat>
And in that context, when we think about the visit this week of the F-Zones, they are not here as our friends, they're not here as our allies, they're not even here as uh, guests of Australia and everything that the Australian culture has to offer. The F-Zones are here this week as our mates because there is a deep shared experience between everything that the Ed Zones represent and Hellenic and Greek culture and everything that has occurred in Australia. It's a shared experience and a shared relationship that allows us to use the word mateship in the context of the Ed Zones. It goes back uh, a number of years. It goes back to an alliance that was first forged during the First World War when the Anzacs used Lemnos in Greece as a staging base before the Gallipoli campaign in 1915. Thousands of Australians, as we well know, uh, were injured during, or killed during the course of the Gallipoli campaign, but many of those in, injured Anzacs returned to the Greek island of Lemnos where they got access to hospital services, the care of nurses and doctors, and were looked after with love and affection from Greeks looking after those injured Anzacs. Sadly, for many of those young Australians, Lemnos was the last civilised place that some of them ever experienced. There are now actually over 1,700 Anzacs who never returned from Greece, who rest on the Greek islands, particularly in Lemnos, and half of them, their bodies were never found or, ident or were identified and they are memorialised in Greece today. The relationship continued to fall during the course of the Second World War, when the bonds of Australia and Greece were further strengthened. A statistic that many Australians didn't know, and I must admit I didn't know until very recently, is that 60,000, 60,000 young Australian men and women served in our armed forces in Greece during the course of the Second World War. An incredible statistic. But what is also less known is the fact that so many Greeks put themselves in harm's way, risk their own safety, the safety of their own families, indeed the safety of their own villages, in an effort to protect Anzacs serving in Greece. Greek families went beyond the call of duty in order to protect Anzacs who were protecting them, ensuring that they would not be surrendered to the Nazis. These were incredible selfless acts of heroism, often undocumented, often unrecognised. Greeks fed, nurtured and protected Anzacs during the course of those incredibly important strategic battles that occurred and ultimately ended up delivering one of the first blow to the Nazis and the Axis forces during the course of the Second World War. Many strategic historians have noted that as a pivotal battle that it ultimately contributed to the turn of the war. But these selfless acts of courage were also acts of love and appreciation. It was a reciprocation of the service that Australians were performing in Greece at the time. Australians in Greece protecting Greeks, but Greeks also protecting Australians. It was a bond for them and serves us well now. 2,700 Australians of Greek heritage have also served the interests of the Australian Armed Forces uh, over the form or since Federation. The First World War, the Second World War and the Vietnam War saw Greek Australians represent Australians' interests and fight valiantly. There's also been battles fought not just in Gallipoli and the Western Front but also Kokoda and Papua New Guinea in the Pacific and Greek Greece itself. Greeks and Anzacs have jointly fought for democratic freedoms, shared Christian values, suffered together, fought together, and ultimately died together, buried together. <coughs> and this week, we've had an opportunity to celebrate that in a unique way.
The presence of the enzymes this week during the course and around of Anzac Day is incredible, of incredible significance to Australians, not just Greek Australians, but all Australians, because of that shared experience. Their presence here today, your presence here today, remembers the fallen, commemorates the traumatic loss, but also celebrates our alliances. I've got to say, it was an incredibly stirring sight seeing the Hellenic Presidential Guard march down the streets of Anzac, uh, streets of Adelaide, on this incredibly important day of Anzac Day. At the dawn service that morning, the Presidential Guard, at pr uh, presence with the Australian Allies and the West Torrens Memorial Gardens, was incredibly profound. Uh, I understand a huge crowd was present at that event. But then on top of that, to be able to have the Hellenic Presidential Guard here during the course of the Greek Orthodox Easter weekend has had a particular level of significance, a particular importance. The first time I saw the f zones was, in fact, on their first visit three years ago. And they walked into St George's Church, which I've been lucky enough to attend on a number of different special occasions, including uh, Tom's wedding. But on that day, there was an even bigger crowd in the room than there was at Tom's wedding. <laughs> and um, the church was packed. And uh, in politics, you are lucky enough sometimes to, to go to lots of different events. But this one was particularly special. Uh, the Greek community is a proud one with a proud history. But that day in St George's, I will never forget the moment that the Evzones walked into that church. And you can hear a collective draw of breath of all the Greek men and women that were present that day, filled with pride and affection for everything that the Air Zones represent. So to be able to have the Hellenic Presidential Guard here this year, during the course of Anzac Day, during the course of Orthodox Easter, for a third year running, is an incredible privilege that we are all collectively very proud of. Because of that history of mateship, because of everything that the Air Zones represent, the, uh, the truth about uh, Australia, of course, is that we are one of the luckiest countries in the world, and I hope the Ed Zones have grown to appreciate that over the course of their recent visits. We have this incredible standard of living. Uh, we've got one of the highest GDP per, GDP per capita anywhere in the globe. We're second in the world when it comes to the Human Development Index rankings of standard of living. As a nation, we're currently about to enter our 28th consecutive year of economic growth. And we have so much to celebrate in terms of everything that Australia has to offer in terms of our standard of living. But I think what we all really appreciate as Australians is that there's something more to us that makes us special rather than just our standard of living. It's a set of values that we all subscribe to. And what underpins that probably more than anything else is our multicultural history. This is an immigrant nation. Part of our DNA is the idea that we celebrate other cultures, that we have a compassionate and open heart towards other people who want to come to this nation and celebrate the opportunity that we have to offer. But when we think about the waves of migrants that this nation has had over generations, few have made a contribution quite as significant as the Greek immigrants have to this nation. Every facet of Australian life, at some element, has had an influence uh, from a Greek Australian, whether it be politics, the arts, sport, law, commerce, you name it. There are Greek Australians who have excelled in making a contribution to making this nation a better place. And Greeks, almost unmatched by any other culture, have seen, sought to seek, seize and share all of the opportunity that this nation has to offer. And the Greek community here in South Australia, but also in the nation generally, I think represents the very best, not just of Hellenic culture, but Australian culture. Because what we know and understand as a community, as a nation of people, as an immigrant society, we know and understand that multiculturalism doesn't add to Australian society. Multiculturalism Culturalism is part of Australian society. It is who we are. So having the Hellenic Presidential Guard here today doesn't just represent 
the very best traditions of Greece. Having the presidential guard and the end zones here represents the very best parts of being Australian. Because when we celebrate the end zones, when we celebrate Hellenic culture, and we do it in this country, a long way away from Greece, we are celebrating everything that makes Australia great. Because multiculturalism is worth investing in. Celebrating Hellenic culture here in South Australia is worth investing in. And that's why, uh, despite um, a bit of difficulty trying to find the support from state government to get the end zones here, that's why the fact that the Greek community is standing up and organising and fundraising to get the end zones out here is the right thing to do. It makes us all proud. And it hasn't happened without an extraordinary amount of effort. And I just want to take the opportunity to recognise that here today. Because the Centre for Hellenic Studies, the Foundation for Hellenic Studies, and I'm to acknowledge all the contributors uh, on that board that, were, um, that have already been mentioned, uh, have put a lot of effort in to see the end zones here today. And I particularly would like to acknowledge the con uh, contribution of Harry Tsiros, who is uh, here somewhere today, and I have a small little presentation uh, that I would like uh, to make uh, to Harry. So if I can invite um, Harry to the stage, he'll be mortified at the idea of doing this, of course. Uh, here he is. Thank you.
some of them have spoken in glowing terms about what the Greek community has achieved here in Australia. And one of the men who the Labor Republic relied on to, to defend its borders and its citizens. Please give him a huge applause. Mr. President of the Opposition, you and your partners, we thank you very much because you invited us and uh, gave the opportunity to the public to see the actions. Άγιε Πατέρα Διογέννη, κύριε Γενικέ Πρόξενε, συμπατριώτησες και συμπατριώτες, Χριστός Αμέστη χρόνια πολλά. Η Προεδρική Φουβρά, το ύψος του τιμητικού άγημα της χώρας, το σύμβολο του έθνους, βρίσκεται εδώ μαζί σας, χιλιάδες μίλια μακριά από την πατρίδα, γιατί εσείς την καλέσατε και τη φιλοξενείτε. Συγχαρητήρια. Που περάσανε 
από την γιορτή της επανάστασης της 25ης Μαρτίου του 2021. Ξέρετε τι κοινό έχουν οι Άντζακ με την επανάσταση του 2021. Ότι αυτοί που πολεμήσανε για την ελευθερία, για την ισότητα, για τη δημοκρατία, πάντα ήταν ενωμένοι. Οι Έλληνες όταν είναι ενωμένοι κάνουν θαύματα. Ήταν ενωμένοι όταν για χούφτα άνθρωποι ξεκινήσανε μια επανάσταση εναντίον μια αυτοκρατορίας και τελικά τα καταφέρανε. Γιατί, γιατί ήταν ενωμένοι. Και από εκείνο το κρασί του 21 ή πιανε και το 40 και πάλι τα βάλανε με μια αυτοκρατορία που μεγάλες χώρες σε λίγες ώρες λυγίσανε. Να μην ξεχνάτε ότι η Ελλάδα μπήκε στον πόλεμο τον Οκτώβριο του 40 και η σημεία η γερμανική του γερμανικού φασισμού μπήκε στην Αγρόπολη τον Απρίλιο του 41, έξι μήνες μετά. Γιατί, γιατί ήταν ενωμένοι. Και επειδή ξέρω και ξέρετε και εσείς πολύ καλύτερα ίσως από μένα ότι υπήρχαν δυστυχώ στιγμές στην ιστορία μας που δεν ήμασταν ενωμένοι. Τότε δεν χρειάζεται να σας απαριθμίσω ούτε τα χρόνια της κρατιάς, ούτε τα δεινά που μας βρήκανε, ούτε την πλήρη απουσία μας από το τραπέζι των νικητών μετά τον δεύτερο παγκόσμιο πόλεμο, ενώ ήμασταν νικητές μεταξύ των νικητών, γιατί μεταξύ μας παγωνόμασταν. Αυτά να τα λέμε. Δεν πρέπει να τα ξεχνάμε και έτσι είναι πιο σίγουρο ότι θα μπορούμε να προσπαθούμε με το μυαλό στο κεφάλι, του, στο κεφάλι μας και όχι να πετάει απ' έξω έτσι ώστε να είμαστε νομένοι και να κάνουμε πάλι θαύμα. Γενικώ όλη η ομογένεια εκτός Ελλάδος μας δίνει πολλά πολλά παραδείγματα και πολύ καλά δείγματα. Έχετε προκόψει και μας κάνετε περήφανος. Είμαι σίγουρος ότι αυτή τη φορά μια και η χώρα περνάει μια περίοδο αρκετών ετών πια μιας δύσκολης κρίσης. Νομίζω ότι αυτή τη φορά και θα μου επιτρέψετε να κάνω μια προφητεία σε πολλές περιπτώσεις η λύση θα έρθει Πολύ πολύ και από την ομογένεια, πιστεύω. Είσαστε για μας παράδειγμα. Συνεχίστε έτσι και κάντε μας, πάτε, κάντε μας μαθήματα ενότητας. Είμαι σίγουρος ότι μπορείτε να γίνετε δάσκαλοι σας. Το έχουμε ανάγκη. Γυρίζουμε στο σήμερα να ευχαριστήσουμε για μια ακόμη φορά τους υποδεσπότες της σημερινής πρωτιάς με την ευκαιρία αυτή γιατί δεν ξέρω πόσο θα ξαναδώ μέχρι να φύγουμε να ευχαριστήσω όλους εσάς που ήσασταν οι υποδεσπότες για αυτό το περίπου δεκαέμερο που είναι εδώ η Φουρά μαζί με, το, με την αντιπροσωπεία από την Προεδρία της Δημοκρατίας να ευχηθούμε για μια φορά ακόμα εις όσα μέσα ζήτω η Ελλάδα Ζήτω η Αυστραλία, η δόξα μου και η ευρωγημένη χώρα που σας έχει στην αγκαλιά της και ζήτω και ο ελληνικός στρατός που γιορτάζει σήμερα για την ημέρα της γιορτής του Πεσάτης του Αγίου Γεωργίου. Ευχαριστώ πολύ.
art and culture. And today in Australia, we live in a world that acknowledges and respects all those things. So I thank the Presidential Guard, I thank Tom and Peter Milnauskas, the Hellenic Studies of Flinders University, for their tireless work to keep on connecting us to our Greek heritage, to showcasing our Greek Australian heritage, and for working so hard to bring the Presidential Guard here to connect all of us with our culture and our heritage. So thank you, Tom, thank you, Peter, thank you, Harry Katsouris, and the Hellenic Studies Centre. Um, I also have a, a greeting and a message from the Leader of the Opposition, the Federal Leader of the Opposition, Bill Shorten, um, who rang me earlier today to apologise. He wanted to come here and be present today, uh, but due to the campaign, uh, I think it's in WA. Um, but uh, discussions that I've had with him over the last 12 months, including Tom and Peter, was telling him about our Greek community in South Australia about this vibrant community that we have, uh, who has contributed uh, to every aspect of life and how hard they have worked to do so. And Bill um, acknowledged this. He acknowledged this with a message that he sent me today, saying that a shortened Labor government will invest $3 million to work with the St George Orthodox community in Parish and St Basil's aged care to build
Ε, έκανα μια ανακοίνωση από τον αρχηγό του Εργατικού Κόμμα, τον κύριο Μπίλου Σούρνου, που στέλνει τα χαιρετίσματά του, δεν μπορούσε σήμερα να είναι εδώ, αλλά είπε ότι αν ε, σε, 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 σε μια κυβέρνηση του Μπίλου Σούρνου θα, θα χρηματοδοτήσουμε 3 εκατομμύρια δολάρια για περισσίε ηλικιωμένων για μέσα του Αγίου Γεωργίου και τη Βασιλιάδα του Γεωργομείου. Ε, αυτό, αυτή η δημιουργία του ελληνικού πυροκομείου θα βοηθήσει στο να καλύφθει αυτό το σημαντικό κενό που βρίσκεται σήμερα. Όπω είπα στα αγγλικά, πολλοί ήρθαν νέοι και νέε, δουλέψαν πάρα πολύ σκληρά στι σκληρότερε δουλειέ που υπήρχαν και σήμερα αυτοί οι ανθρώποι μεταναστεύσαν εδώ και αφήσαν πίσω η οικογένεια και την πατρίδα του. Αναζητούν λίγο βοήθημα στα τελευταία του χρόνια. Και γι' αυτό είναι σημαντικά αυτά τα τρία εκατομμύρια που θα βάλουμε να μπορέσουμε να γεμίσουμε αυτό το κενό λίγο και να εργαστούμε μαζί με την παρικία μας, μαζί με την ε, ε, ενορία του Αγίου Γεωργίου και του Γεωργομείου ε, του Σάιντ Μπέζουμς ε, για να μπορέσουμε να κάνουμε και εμείς κάτι για αυτά τα άτομα που έχουν κάνει τόσα πολλά για μας, που έχουν θυσιάσει τα πάνω για όλους μας. Και εμείς σήμερα που είμαστε δεύτεροι και τρίτοι και τέταρτοι γενναιά Μιλάμε λίγο λίγα ελληνικά και καταλαβαίνουμε τη θρησκεία μα και την Ιταλία μα είναι από αυτά τα άτομα που θυσιάσανε πάρα πολλά, όχι μόνο για τον εαυτό του, αλλά και για τι επόμενε γενιέ ενό θεαμών. Σα ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ, Χριστό Ανέστη, και χρόνια πολλά. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Slow. 
print um, for uh, guests who wish to remain. Please mingle. Um, there are plenty of people here who'd like to meet you and um, talk to you about presidential guard. Please feel free to take photographs. And again, you know, once again, thank you very much for hosting us. It's a Theatre. Thank you very much. It's a